Hello there. Welcome to another Rosetto Corsa modern video. Around this time of year we're always littered with videos on YouTube for essential mods for Rosetto Corsa. And as they're all opinionated, why not do one myself? With there being a wide variety of cars spanning from the complicated modern hybrid machines we have today, to the powerful V10 beasts of the early 2000s, to even the incredibly rugged times where safety wasn't even a word to be considered. And with legendary machinery being replicated for our pleasure it means, in our small way, we could just be like them. So here we have some of the community's finest modding work regarding to formula cars, but what this video will tell you is which ones are a must. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, we have the wonderful Rostam Studios group, otherwise known as RSS. RSS is an organisation with the purpose of creating high quality content for the most popular racing sims. Their attention to detail is second to none. Having started out in 2017 with their first mod, from there they've only gone up. As the more experienced they've become, the greater the mods have become, each one better than the last. And whilst this video is going to cover the formula mods, it is worth checking out their GT mods, as they too just cannot be ignored. With that being said, let's check out what I think the best mods are from Race Sim Studios. My first recommendation would be this, the Formula Hybrid 2019. This being the latest of their Formula Hybrids, no doubt there will be one in 2020. Starting out their Formula Hybrids in 2017, it's fair to say they've come a long way. With each iteration being better than the last, it leads us to the 2019 car. This 2019 version features a totally brand new car model, improved engine sounds and upgraded physics that match the 2019 regulations. The improved models and the physics definitely make this the best Formula mod car you can get for the modern day. For me, this is their best car they've done, closely followed by this. The RSS Formula 79. And it's not hard to see where the inspiration for this car has come from. Based off of the Lotus 79 from the 1979 season, this car is an absolute joy to drive in Assetto Corsa. But with its stunning models done by Racing Studios and their respective partners, it's clear to see the amount of effort that's gone into the details of this car. And for it to be their third project they did, it's truly amazing how everything just comes together and how premium this feels. I don't think there's any other classic formula mod that comes close to the detail, the feel behind the wheel like this car. And while it's difficult to simulate ground effect in sim racing, this car does give you a sense of what this Lotus 79 would be like to drive back in 1979. And the final Formula car on the RSS side is this, Formula 2000. 
another mod from RSS based off a classic Grand Prix car. Which Grand Prix car might you be talking about? Well, that would be none other than Michael Schumacher's first championship winning Ferrari Formula One car. With it featuring a naturally aspirated V10 producing over 800 brake horsepower, this is by far and away the most difficult Formula mod to drive from RSS. With the car featuring grooved tyres, no traction control, no ABS and no stability control, it made these cars an absolute handful out on circuit. You could see just how twitchy they were when the drivers were right on edge with them, and that, that's what makes this car exciting to drive. It's different from all the other Formula cars. It's an era which most probably look back of not very fondly with Michael Schumacher dominating, but this, this is F1 history. Next we have the VRC modding team, and what they lack in quantity, they sure don't have make up for quality. With a stunning 10 cars currently free on the VRC modding team page, it's hard to believe that you can get all these quality mods for free. You've got to go check them out, they are absolutely fantastic and starting off with this Jordan that Michael Schumacher debuted in at Spa, it feels fantastic, it was one of their very first mods and I've got to say considering how old it is, it still lives up to the mods of today, I think, anyway, personally. And it's one of those mods where every time a Michael Schumacher anniversary comes up, this is always going to be on there as the car that people want to drive. It's magnificent, it's beauty, it's replicated so brilliantly in this mod, and for it being free, you can't turn your nose up at that, can you really? Up next, we have Lewis Hamilton's debut in McLaren, the McLaren MP4-22. From every angle, its beauty is sublime. The way the chrome reflects in the light in Assetto Corsa is a thing duly missed with modern McLarens. And with these cars fitted with traction control, it's easy for anyone to get up to speed with it. It's a fantastic free mod from VRC. Up next we have another absolute classic car, the 2005 McLaren MP420. Arguably the fastest car in the 2005 season, this car is absolute gem to drive in Assetto Corsa. And with its naturally aspirated 3 litre V10 engine, it absolutely howls. And just like the MP422, this car's easy to drive with its ABS traction control, despite producing 900 brake horsepower. So if you want that naturally aspirated V10 sound back with a great handling car, the McLaren MP420 is your choice. Up next we have the most dominant Formula 1 car in history, the McLaren MP44. A car driven by Ayrton Senna and Alain Pross, this car won 15 out of 16 Grand Prix in 1988. And with its absolutely monstrous 1.5 litre V6 turbo, chuck it out over 1000 brake horsepower, this is one of the most challenging Formula cars you will ever come across. Next, we have the Ferrari F2007, the car which took Kimi Raikkonen to his first and only Formula 1 World Championship. Of course, both the Ferrari and the McLaren being involved in the Spygate scandal that year. Nevertheless, the Ferrari, much like the McLaren, is a beautiful handling car with the wonderful naturally aspirated V8 soundtrack behind. This mod is now full release and free to the public, so get downloaded, it's a fantastic mod. One which will get all Ferrari Formula 1 fans excited about. Being their last championship winning car, who knows when another one will come. 
And last and not least, my recommended mods from VRC is the Renault R25. This car being Fernando Alonso's first World Championship car in Formula 1. And also being the last of the V10 cars, this is truly the last of an era. Whilst I believe the McLaren is a nicer car to drive, the Renault is part of the collection of the 05 cars, so you need to give it a download. So let's kick this video off with a group known as ASR Formula. They have a wonderful collection of 1991 cars, six of which are currently free. But let's kick it off with this, the McLaren MP45 from 1990. This is a car I've been waiting for ages on Assetto Corsa, and while currently it's still in beta mode, it is a fantastic addition to have to the Assetto Corsa franchise. With that glorious Honda V10 sound, and Ayrton Senna famously winning the championship in controversial fashion in 1990, it's a car we all need. Up next, we have the wonderful 1990 Ferrari 641. With its beautiful, simple, elegant design, and with that naturally aspirated V12, it's an absolute glorious machine out on any circuit. With Alain Prost and Nigel Mansell both taking race wins in this car through the 1990 season, which saw Alain Prost fighting for the championship until the last race at Suzuka. And with it being one of the older sim racing mods in Assetto Corsa, it still manages to live up to that glorious expectation that you would expect from this car. As expected now with ASR, it is a free mod on their website, so you should definitely go give it a download. Whilst it's old, it's definitely still gold. Up next, we have an absolute icon in Ferrari Formula 1 history. The Ferrari 412T2. A successor from the previous Ferrari 412T, this car was the last car in Formula 1 to have a V12 engine. Gotta say, it's one of the best sounding. And whilst it wasn't a particularly successful car that season, it is still a part of Formula One folklore, and for this to be a free car on ASR, it's definitely worth the download. I don't gonna say that for all of these, but it really is worth it. With its raw engine sound and its very raw handling, it's one of the most fun, exciting cars on Assetto Corsa. And this car coming up is no exception to that. The Ferrari 310. The switch from V12 to a lighter, hopefully more powerful, reliable V10 and also the introduction of the greatest driver in Formula 1, Michael Schumacher. Probably one of the most ugly looking Ferraris that has ever been, and not particularly successful throughout that season. It's definitely a whole heap of fun in Assetto Corsa. It's a handful. So that's just about all for this video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I would like to give an honourable mention to the Auto Union car, which you can find in Race Department, and this Alfa Romeo 158 Alfetta. It's the 1950 Formula 1 car for Alfa Romeo, the first car to win an official Formula 1 World Drivers' Championship, driven by Giuseppe Farina. Both are absolutely magnificent for that old-school classic Formula 1 feel, I believe the Auto Union's had slightly more 
effort put into it, but the Alfa Romeo is a lot of fun, as you can see on screen here, trying to slide it through the corners of a modern Silverstone circuit. Also, want to give reference to the ACFL 1994 car pack. It's, uh, it's one of those where you get the whole 1994 grid, but I'm not too sure about the company ACFL, I'm not sure how they go about their mods, but it's there anyway, it's on for sale at the moment, but yeah. There is also a modding group called ACR, who go about doing Formula mods, they've done the Ferrari SF90 from the 2019 season, and yeah, if you don't want to pay for any Formula Hybrid mods or anything, this is a nice alternative free mod. It's not got as much detail or effort put into it as the RSS mods, but as I say, nevertheless, for a free mod, you can't expect much. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, take care.